This federal watchdog just revealed New York City spends half a million dollars per year per detainee held in a city jail. And the conditions in those jails remain unstable and unsafe. There was an anticipation and a hope that things would be better in January and February, but it's clear it's not. Inside the report, the federal watchdog that oversees New York City jails just released their latest update, writing in the first few months of 2022, city jails remain unstable and unsafe for both inmates and staff. The uh, New Year's report finds that violence and trauma behind bars continue. The rate of violence in the city's jails is seven to eight times higher than those observed in other correctional systems, the monitor wrote, with 48 slashings and stabbings in city jails during the month of January alone. The report found the high rates of violence inside city jails have become normalized. An organizer with the Center for Community Alternatives, Marvin Mayfield, recently received a phone call from a Rikers detainee. He held the phone in the air and he said, Marvin, listen to this. This is somebody being assaulted right now. And I heard the cry over the air in real time as it happened. Attorney Christopher Boyle was cautiously optimistic that conditions on Rikers would change with a new mayor and a new commissioner for the Department of Correction stepping in on January 1st. The new commissioner made it much easier for the Department of Corrections officers to call in sick. The federal monitor's report found as of late January, a third of jail staffers were failing to show up for work. With jails severely understaffed, inmates are missing medical appointments. Boy was in court fighting to get one of his clients, a 67-year-old man, released from Rikers Island. He was not getting any medical attention. Uh, he was beaten pretty severely. Commissioner Molina noted in a statement he was well aware of the problems facing the Department of Correction before he took the position. Molina said, we must do better and we can do better. Reporting from the bridge to Rikers Island in East Elmhurst, Queens, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News.